Hi, Jesse Canone from LoseTheBackPain.com. And in this quick video, I want to talk about lower back pain therapy and treatments. And why most, why, uh, not most people, so many people suffer and seem to struggle with uh, lower back pain. And one of the biggest reasons is, is most of the treatments and therapies uh, that are performed for lower back pain are all physical. They focus on your body, okay? Well, the body is just one piece of the puzzle. And yes, it's a big piece, but it's just one piece. You've also got the diet, and you've got your mind. And yet, everybody seems to ignore these, okay? So if you really want to get lasting relief, the first thing you have to realize and acknowledge is that you, as a person, are more than just your body, okay? Your mind and your diet play very big roles in you and you know, how healthy you are, any health ailments that you may be suffering from. So that's the first piece, okay? Now, the other reason most people struggle uh, with lower back pain and other conditions is a lot of the treatments are focused on the symptoms and not the underlying causes of the pain. So for, let me give you some uh, examples. For example, uh, lower back pain. Again, most of the treatments are up here. They're physical, addressing the body. You go to a uh, chiropractor. They manipulate your spine. They believe that the cause of your back pain is uh, your spine is out of alignment. And that may be true. But there's more to it than that. In that example, why is your spine out of alignment? It doesn't get that way at, you know, on its own. Your muscles and your, muscles and your uh, tendons and your ligaments kind of pull your body and, and your spine out of alignment. It doesn't happen by itself. So uh, identifying the underlying cause is really the key thing. So you always want to look at the treatment and say, does this really uh, address the underlying causes? Let me give you some of the underlying uh, causes. So physically, the physical causes of pain. You've got muscle imbalances. Okay, muscle imbalances are one of the biggest physical causes of uh, back pain. Again, they pull your body out of alignment into positions that are not optimal, where there's excess of wear and tear, there's you know rotation in the spine, there's compression of the spine, uh, and all of your joints can become what's called uh, dysfunctional. The way we re like to refer to it as dysfunctional. Your body's not functioning the way it was supposed to. It's not optimal, but it's still functioning. Okay? That's dysfunctional. Muscle imbalance is very big. Okay? Compression. Again, I mentioned that just a moment ago. Compression of the spine is a big problem. But again, it doesn't happen by itself. It's not just gravity. So doing something like inversion therapy is, uh, or other types of spinal decompression are very effective, but by themselves, they're typically not enough. You've got to address the muscle imbalances as well. Trigger points. Another big cause, uh, physical cause of pain uh, that a lot of people tend to ignore. So those are just three examples of physical causes of pain. So you'd want to make sure, if you have pain now, that you're addressing all these, okay? Mind stress okay most people don't know how to handle negative stress they don't know how to deal with it they also don't have enough uh, or they don't set enough side set aside enough time excuse me uh, for relaxation so you you got to make sure that you're you're dealing with that this can keep you in pain don't underestimate the importance your mind plays on your body and who you are and how you feel your beliefs Many people stay in pain and are stuck in pain and die in pain. They live their whole life in pain because of their beliefs. They have negative beliefs that keep them stuck. Okay? So you've got to, and this is not easy, this is the biggest challenge people have, all of us as, as humans, because it's the most painful. But you've got to acknowledge it, you've got to deal with it, and identify the beliefs that you might have that might be keeping you stuck. Okay? Um, and then emotions, how you react and how you behave, your, your emotions. So these three things, you want to uh, identify where you have problems here and again, acknowledge them and work on improving them. And then for the diet, hydration. A lot of people, the reason they can't get lasting relief is they're, they're dehydrated. They're having disc problems and herniated and bulging discs and they don't understand why. Hydration is a big key. Uh, under diet is inflammation. Inflammation can be caused by many things, but there are foods that 
cause and worsen inflammation, and then there are foods that fight inflammation. So you need to know these, okay? And we've got many articles and videos on this subject, so be sure to check out our other videos to learn about those foods. Foods to eat, foods to avoid. Uh, but inflammation is key. Uh, another thing about inflammation is inflammation, as we age, becomes our body has a harder time handling and dealing with the inflammation. When you're young, you twist your ankle, it swells up, causes inflammation to protect itself. As you get older, your body stops producing certain enzymes called proteolytic systemic enzymes. Uh, that production drops off, your body can't handle the inflammation as well as it used to. The older you get, the worse that gets. So again, we have information, you can learn more about proteolytic enzymes on our website. Um, and then um, minerals or nutrients. So uh, one example is many people are deficient in magnesium. They've got too much calcium and not enough magnesium. Well, that can cause problems for you. And that's just one example of a nutritional imbalance. So the solution to all health problems uh, is identifying the imbalances, okay? Imbalances in your diet, imbalances in the mind. Again, an imbalance here in the mind is too much negative stress, not enough relaxation. Negative beliefs, not enough positive beliefs. In the body, muscle imbalances, too much tightness in one muscle, you know, a weakness in the opposing muscle. Uh, too much compression in the spine. Uh, not enough movement. Uh, trigger points are a combination, uh, they're, they're a, a whole beast of their own, but they're a combination of too much uh, tightness and damaged muscle tissue, toxins, uh, negative energy, uh, and not enough other things. So, I mean, but the key here I wanted to point out to you is imbalances. Imbalances in your body, mind, and diet uh, are the problem. And so once you can identify these things and work on them, the treatments that you do will be more effective. So if you are doing physical therapy, you know, physical treatments, and you're ignoring these things, you're getting some of the problem, but the pain's not going to go away, or it's not going to stay away because you're not addressing the mind or the diet. So make sure you're, you know, fully understand this and are addressing all these. We have another video series uh, called, I believe it's Why You're Still in Pain. And it covers these things in more detail. And you can find that on our website, losethebackpain.com. And I hope you found this quick video helpful.